work this uh, underhook game, right? Underhook, grabbing the, the, the belt, feeding the lapel, all that kind of stuff, getting down lower, playing this uh, old school game, putting him on the line here by hooking the foot, all that kind of stuff. But now we're playing further out this way, okay? Some people call this the knee shield. Some people call it the Z guard. Um, I've even heard people call it the quarter guard, which doesn't really make sense to me because, you know, quarter guard is, you know, if this is half guard, then when his knee is through and you just have his foot, that's quarter guard to me. So in our system, quarter guard is when he has his knee through and we just have his foot. So here, we're gonna call this Z guard, just for, for uh, consistency. Everybody okay with Z-Guard? Z-Guard, all right, Z-Guard. So, um, foot's generally on the hip. My knee is up blocking the shoulder, right, if he's putting pressure. I want it up high enough so that it's hard for him. If I'm down here, it's easy for him to push, push the leg down, all right, and if it's way out here, then it's easy for him to underhook or work his way in here. So generally, I'm here, I'm either foot, bottom of the foot on the hip or top of the foot, the instep hooking under the ribs here. So I'm right here, and as he's trying to put pressure, I'm able to block and make some space and play my game here. Okay, now my first move from here for me is to establish some grips. I'm gonna go cross grip and grab the pant as well. All right, so if I'm back here playing this game, I'm not gonna get my grips, I sit up, right? I kind of do a crunch, I'm on my side, I get my grips. All right, now, if he's putting pressure on me, that's one way, and if he's pulling back, that's another way. So from here, with the knee and the sleeve, and I'm here with this hook, all right, I can do a scissor sweep, all right? I still scissor my legs, just like I do with the scissors, all right? I scissor him over this leg. Now look, as soon as this happens, I'm using these grips to push, I press, up overhead with these grips and get me across the side control. If I'm controlling this and this is still open, back step right away. If not, if he's trapping my foot, that's okay. It's a pretty good place to work from. Okay? And we've got we've got a whole system from here to work as well. Okay, so just a basic scissor sweep from half. Right, from the Z guard position, he's here, he's putting some pressure. I get my grips, he doesn't like it, he sits back a little bit. Perfect, I scissor my legs, taking him over that, and I push myself up across. If this is still open, right away back step, side control. Coach, yes, sorry. Um, I was just going to say, from the uh, when you're in the Z guard, does your leg have to be up, or can it be across his waist? Well, if it's across his waist, it's easier for him to push down and start playing his game. Now, if we're here and he's tight, right? Right. If I'm here, I'm trying to work my way back. If I can get my knee in, then my, that's where I'm at. But then once I get some space here. Right? I don't want to stay down here because he's able to put pressure on it and put, you know, this is going to be a lot more frustrating for him. I've got my foot in the hip, blocking his hip, my knee up, blocking his chest and his shoulder. So this is stronger for me. This makes more space. If I'm here, he can just lay down on it. And I'm in a really bad position here. He peg legs me and I'm, I'm passed. Does that answer the question? Yes, sir, it does. So the strength from that, that's why people call it the knee shield because that knee really gives people trouble. So once real quick here, I'm here, I'm in a good position, I crush, I get my grips, I sweep right across. Okie dokie. Cool. Same grips, I'm in the same position, I've got my knee shield up, right? If I start trying to sweep him and he pressures back into me, all right, and really pushes back into me, that's great. I've still got this knee blocking, but I'm gonna bring it through a little bit so that it's driving this arm, okay? Driving this arm, and I push the arm and leg under, 
right? And I've got them up over me now, and now it's just a tail sweep. Again, I hook this leg and push across. These two work together really, really well. If he's putting a lot of pressure to begin with, and he feels me start to bring him this way and he sits back, then he's right there for the scissors. So these go backwards and forwards, depending on the pressure that he's giving. So once again, I'm here. I start that scissor sweep, he puts some pressure on the block. I've still got this knee up. It's not over here now because as he's putting pressure up on top of me, I need to kind of block it more. So now my knee's where I can bring it up under this arm, which gives me some leverage. Once I do this, I'm pushing, he pushes back. Look, I want his hips sideways. I push this arm across, I push this knee across. Once his hips are sideways, it's pretty easy to take him over back. Keep my hook leg hooked, kick and push across. Okay, I'm going slow right now. Now I'll do one fast. Okay, he starts pushing. I block. Boom, here. Right over. Make sure you're pushing that knee and that sleeve across so his hips break. And then it's just kick right back over with the tail, so it's just that back, you know, it's just pushing that stuff across, and then going up and over the shoulder. Like I said, keep that leg entangled so it drags you over. Question? So tails, scissor sweep combo. Let's do it. Does that make sense? Are you pushing them down? We push them down, and then we take them over, and once we take them over, then we press them across. The scissor and the tail sweep is a cross grip. Okay, so that's a kind of our initial conditions for, the, for that. Now, this next one, I've got a standard same side sleeve grip on this inside hand for him, okay? So, if I am, um, if I'm pulling this arm and he's pulling back, all right, that made some space for me to dive under, okay? I grab the belt, I duck under, I keep the sleeve, grab the belt, I keep my elbow tight, okay? Now, I'm sitting up here, so I wanna bring my knee across. Now my knee's across because I've got it broken. This gives me the space. Guys, come over here. Christian, you're fine. So this gives me the space. I fight this knee in across to block this leg so I can get my bottom leg in here, okay? I, now I can lay down, push this out, right? This foot is past the leg because I brought my knee here to block. Now as I go, look, I lay on my back. As I lay, this foot hooks. Look, I'm keeping this pressure down. I'm pulling on the belt. My elbow's keeping the pressure. If Mike tries to sit up here, it's very difficult because I've got this elbow here. I got the pressure on his arm. Now I continue to turn, keeping this pressure down. So even though I let go of his sleeve, I've got all this pressure down on him here, still with my elbow. So he's still trying to get up, but that's actually helping me come up. Right? I feed, and I'm right where I want to be. Right? So I'm pulling this sleeve, he's pulling back. I sit up, duck through, dive this arm through. Grab the belt, elbow down. Now, my right knee, my top knee comes across. I block, right? I block, this allows me to get this knee out so that I can make space. Now I lay back and turn. If he's trying to bring that leg forward, he can't, right? This leg's able to get out. I turn, I'm blocking the hip. As I turn, look, this hook goes in. I'm keeping this pressure here to the back. 
Keeping my elbow down. time here guys. I wasn't able to get the cross grip. He's pulling back, right? Giving me some space here. So I use that space. I sit up through, I grab. See, I say sit, sitting up here on the elbow. If he's trying to push or pull or whatever, this is pretty stable for me. I sneak this top knee across, right? Now that makes space for me to get this other leg out. Right, I've got him jammed up pretty well here. Now I go to my back, but look, see where my hook is? As I turn my hips, that hook goes in. I'm keeping this pressure down. Go. So duck under, take the sleeve grip, duck under to the back. Let's do it. Okay, so this game is built off of what grips we can get, right? So if I can't get, if he's not giving me that far arm, and I can't get that, he's got an angle on me here, then I can work this same side grip. I can't get that same side grip, so I get this same side grip, okay? So once he starts worrying more about this, then I can change my angle up. I still want to get this knee grip if I can, all right? Make some, <coughs> no, you're all right make some slack, get a knee grip, right? Now, he's, you know, he's like putting some pressure, thinking about trying to pass, you know, he's keeping some pressure on the knee so I can do whatever I want, but we've been going forward and back playing this game here, right? And he's not really expecting it when I switch to this grip here, right? And I go knee out, okay? I broke his balance, now I have a little lift here. Now look, this is my grip, and my leg, okay? I've got a little lever here. My foot's behind his shin, and i got a little leg lever here. So this gives me some, there's this, this, <coughs> and this, right? Take him over, come out. I'm always big on controlling this knee, or this, this knee as long as I possibly can. Here, he's not letting me get that sleeve, or maybe I had it when he broke the grip. Okay, so I switched to this sleeve here. Note my foot back here. I got it hooked on his shin, and this leg is right here touching this leg. So once I open this up, right, go ahead and your base. Okay, once I open this up, I need a little extra lift here, right? I'm gonna, he's gonna keep his base. And I'm going to pull all my knee pressure here, right? So there's all my knee pressure there. Now, look it. When I start using this leg here, that takes it over. So it's fairly simple. Good to go? You good or once more? Shuts down, it takes up the slack. 
right? But for me, my grip isn't good enough. Some people have a super strong bottom three fingers and they just can really hold on to that. I'm not one of them. So the cat's paw works really well for me because then I have that extra little, uh, that extra little hook. Remember, it's illegal to grab up inside of the sleeve and dangerous for you. So I make the cat's paw, right? And then I make a fist. So I make this cat's paw, which takes up most of the slack, and then I make a fist. Now for him to get his hand out of there is much more challenging. And he's fighting my whole arm here. He's not fighting my wrist. My wrist is tight. So when we do this, and this works even like this works across, right? If I'm here and I want to block, if I'm cross grip and I want to control this, now for him to get his arm out of there is a lot harder. If he pulls, he pulls with, he pulls me with him. If he pushes, he's pushing into my fist. So it's not just like I'm holding this, and he, now if he pushes or pulls, he's got some slack and he's got some movement. So I make that cat's paw take up the slack as much, and then I roll my fist into it, which is a very strong grip. And I know I'm gonna be sorry I showed you guys some of this, but that's where we're at. So when we're doing this move here, I don't want him to base out, right? If I've got a weak grip here, and I start doing this, then he's just gonna base out, okay? So I take this grip and I punch, punch to my hip. My foot's on his hip, so I've got a good pivot, a good uh, fulcrum here, back here, right? This foot, right there on the thigh. Now as I go, if he's trying to base, I've got that arm in there really tight. Okie doke. Small detail, but really, really strong point. Let's do it. So the, the leg lasso, well this is the arm lasso, okay? Same thing here, I'm in the same position. I'm sitting up, I'm trying to play this game. I'm not getting away with it. He's hanging back, not putting a whole lot of pressure. So I can come to this side here, okay? And I'm gonna take and drive my elbow over and in. Okay, I'm sitting up. I've got his arm trapped in here pretty well. Now, I dive under with this hand and take him over. Where he doesn't have any wings. Okay. Now, am I going to get away with this on somebody with a lot shorter arms? No. So, Ed, this may not be your move. Certainly <laughs> not against some of the, you know somebody with much shorter arms. But if your arms are about the same length, or you've got shorter arms, this is a good one because you can drive that elbow in and get into position pretty easily. Here, boom, boom, I get the sleeve. As long as I have some space here, right? He may even be putting a little bit of pressure here, just kind of, we're playing our game here. But if my knee's blocking, when I sit up, look, I'm going elbow knee connectivity to bring me to here, right? I sit up, I've got this trapped under my arm with the grip. Now, he's got no base back over my right shoulder, so I'm gonna dive my left shoulder under,
grab that ankle. As soon as, as soon as I get that ankle, I'm technical stance up, okay, and right around, sit through. Okay, I'm either sitting up and he's trying to control my hips, right? Or I'm going for the kimura and he's pulling his elbow in to keep the arm tight, right? When this arm comes in to defend it, I'm right here, look, as soon as, I gotta be ready, look. As soon as this grips, boom, technical stance. All right, now look, hip pies through, boom. Check. Once more. The wrestler should, should be hitting this. Alright. Go for the key more. He's like, no, I'm tucking the elbow in. Fine. Grab. Technical stand. Hip heist. This one through. Boom.
so you don't need that bicep slice. Check. Any questions? Let's do it. Okay, so this next move I like a lot because it kind of misdirects. Um, it's kind of like going for the toe hold to hit the knee bar. You just distract them with one thing and then you hit the knee bar on the other side. It's the same thing here. Okay, I start off with my leg lasso. Okay, and if he feels me starting to put pressure on it, he's just usually going to come and put pressure down on me here, right? Try to pass, try to put some pressure on me, push in, all that kind of stuff. So when he does that, I'm putting pressure here, and see he's pulling back over here. So that keeps this, this in here pretty well, and his arm is right where I can grab it. Okay, I come to my elbow, come over the top, right into this. About half the time, his arm's gonna come out, right? His arm's gonna come out over there, but now it's a little bit too late. And once I start, I've really got an angle here. I'm controlling his far leg. I've got a really good angle here. So really, the only thing he can do to defend is roll. If he rolls, right, look, I let his head come through. I keep the leg locked. I let his head come through, right, and then I come up. Now look, I'm kind of just gonna kick across here. Kick. I don't know what I'm gonna do about uh, issue this. I just kind of, like he's rolling, I let the head come through, and then I kick across. See where I'm at? To come up on my elbow and my hand. Now I'm tight on this here, and I finish with the arm, right? Because I'm trapping his head, trapping his head under the leg. Yeah, I let that head come through, right? I let the head come through, boom, on here. Right? And then I kick the legs across a little bit, come up on my elbows. Down here. Okay? If he's a big guy and he strains his arm out to the fin, you let him do that. And then we hit the wrist lock. Or he doesn't have to be big, just strong. Be strong. Back, 
kind of put a head crush. I don't even know if that's legal, but it's one of those things like the ref can't really tell. You know, you're just trying to control the person's head. What's up? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> stuff and uh, tornado roll, right? If he clears this hook for some reason, right, then I can always roll inside. When I do, I can end up with my omoplata, okay? If he rolls, new sweat. I'm waiting for it, okay? That's off my standard grip. Okay? Now, if I cross grip, if I set this up, all of a sudden I'm read. I can't do a leg lasso. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> if I now switch to a cross grip and clear this, right? When I roll, when I do my grand air to roll to the inside, now I'm setting up. We're trying. I got this arm across. I love it. I love when I do a move and people are like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I can also, I can also uh, almost plot with a cross grip. Okay. And with this one, I have to shove the arm across and I have this <laughs> arm. Block. All right, but I don't want to give up. If stuff's happening fast and he's clearing that hook and he's getting past it, I don't want to have to stop and switch grips. So I can only apply with a regular grip. But as far as the triangle goes, I want to have a cross grip. Does that make sense to everybody? So if I'm here and things are happening real fast, he pushes this down, he's getting past right in the bird room. I could go to the old plotter with the with the regular grip, no problem. If I have a little more time, I can hit my choice. Right? Oh, maybe he's not letting me have this. Right? Defending. So I switch, right? I can set this up. Now he's like, oh cool, right? But look, I come inside, I've got this hand free to kind of lock the control. Now I can hold a plotter or continue all the way around for the triangle. Full speed, full speed. Get it, right? Switch. I've been doing 
notice that a lot of you guys missed it. We talked about it last Monday. It makes a huge difference, okay? Put that pressure on them right away. They're heat All right? So, you want to arm lasso, play my games, kind of stay in back, and let me do that stuff. I switch the grip. All right? Open. Kick up. I'm dragging with the cross grip. Dragging with the cross grip. Boom. Right? I'm up on my knee. Take the hook. The, the grapevine out, hook's still there. Grapevine's out. Over to the top, center. I have my grips already. Okay, my other option, depending on where this foot is, crank. Okay, if I set this up, if when we do this, this foot is really deep in the crevice of his knee, okay? When I cross arm drag and sit up, if this is deep, I can just grab here and hit the calf slicer, okay? If you're brown belt or above. If you're rolling here, purple belt or above, right? Because we get ready for this stuff ahead of time. We'll wait till you're brown belt. So, boom, boom. Some people grab here. I like to come up to the foot to give me more leverage, right? A lot of guys, big guys especially, I can get without crossing my foot. If I need a little extra leverage, I figure four. Okay, so I have those, those choices. Start off with the leg lasso. If he was up high at some point, if he was up putting pressure on me, and that leg's deep in the crevice, right, when he sits back, and I open this up, oops, I forgot my cross break, right? Now that leg's deep, I'm in a great position for this. If not, then what do I get? My leg's out here when I sit up. It's no problem. Hook, high and center. So arm drag to the cross, arm drag to the back, or sit up for the bicep, or the, the calf slicer. Any questions? Once again, or are we good? You, you can use your, your left arm. Let's do it. 